The resort municipality of Whistler was incorporated in 1975. It's about an hour and 20 minutes north of Vancouver. We have about 13,000 permanent residents, uh, but we, we see about a daily average uh, population of 40,000 people through tourism season. Whistler continues to be a very desirable place to live. When we co-hosted the 2010 Winter Olympics and Paralympic Games with Vancouver, I think that even put Whistler more on the map. So the rapidly increasing real estate prices just have driven the affordability levels um, out of reach for most people that are working within Whistler. So Whistler set an ambitious goal of housing a minimum of 75% of the workforce within our municipal boundaries and we've been achieving that. So Granite Ridge is a 45 unit rental apartment building. It's located down in our legacy neighborhood of where the 2010 Winter and Paralympic Games were housed. So it was formerly the Athletes Village, now primarily employee housing. My name is uh, Roman. I'm originally from Ukraine. I started my Canadian journey from Vancouver, but my dream always was uh, to come to, to Whistler and, you know, enjoy those slopes. I started working for this fantastic company, Fairmont, and in 2015 I managed to transfer uh, to Fairmont Chateau Whistler. I started living with WHA from 2018. It's an uh, accommodation for locals and for long-term uh, employees here with a reduced rate. He has lots of uh, friends here. He's only one Ukrainian beagle in Whistler. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say, but he's a really popular guy. We met each other um, in Ukraine uh, during one of my visits. The chemistry happened and um, yeah, after one year we decided to get married. In February 2022, um, uh, the situation in Ukraine um, changed mm -hmm. and uh, this um, nasty war happened and it's still going on. So knowing that, um, I had to go back to Ukraine and um, literally rescue my wife and okay. my parents. I wasn't shocked about the kindness of Canadian people. You know, it's like medicine for your soul because you are in shock. All this year we were in shock and still it's pretty difficult to live. We are hoping that everything will be good in Ukraine, the war ended soon and we, we could live like full, uh, full, full lives. Secure housing allows people to set down roots. We have families that are now able to put their kids in school with confidence that those kids will be able to stay and build friendships. And that leads to a quality of life that is so, so vital to our community's well-being.